high slingshot shooters. So, what is the best elongation factor? We all know there's a difference between band life. You might get 250 shots versus 1,000. Is it worth it if you're hunting? Should you use 600%? Would 525 be a more practical option for collecting game, band life? That's what I'm looking to figure out. Now, I'm only running one taper, the 2012, as that's a relatively common taper. Um, I do plan on doing other latexes and other tapers to see if it changes. Say at... 525 is the best for 0.45. Is 525% elongation still the best for a 0.72 thickness? So this is going to be a semi-long series as it's going to require a lot of shooting. This will be the first, and like I said, it's going to be testing the GZK Orange 0.45 at a 2012 taper. And I'll be running 500, 525, 550, 575, and 600. I'll be doing 10 shots of quarter inch and 10 shots of 516. Quarter inch is 6.3 millimeter. And the 516 is referred to as 8 millimeter. It actually mics out at 7.93. So I hope you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you shortly. Okay, slingshot shooters. So today we're testing GZK Orange 0.45. All of them will be at a 2012 taper. This first one is 500% elongation, which for me equals out to an active length of 143 millimeters. The frame I'll be shooting all bands from is the Wasp Unifox. I will be using the clips to make band changes faster. I will be using a different set of bands for all elongation factors versus cutting some off where the bands have already been shot. Each set will be fresh. We'll start off with 10 shots of quarter inch and see how this goes. I'm shooting at the world's ugliest pheasant here. That one did not read. Two forty. Two forty. Apparently, I cannot shoot at the pheasant because it bounces out. Two thirty six. Again, this is the quarter inch ammo. Two thirty eight. 242, 245, 247, you can tell that the bands are getting warmed up a little bit more, 240, 236, and 237. So we're going to change the string, and now we will move over to 516th ammo, or 8 millimeter. 24, that is not correct. 206. 213. 215. 214. This band does seem very consistent. 210. 211. 211. 11 again. And 208. So with a 500% elongation at a 2012 taper, the high was 247 with the quarter inch, a low of 236 an average speed of 240 feet per second, an extreme spread of 11 feet per second. We take that first 24 foot per second shot off. 
Oh, that was the whole string. Shoot. Let's reshoot. All right, so the eight millimeter again. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so the high with the eight millimeter was two twenty two, the low two oh nine, average speed of two fourteen, and an extreme spread. of 13 feet per second. All right, so coming up next will be the 525%. Okay. GZK Orange, 525. The active length on this one for me is 136 millimeters. Gives me a 525% elongation. Again, we'll be starting off with the quarter inch ammo. Let's see what it does. It didn't read. What do we have going on here? Got that one. All right, so 243. I think the angle of the light is messing with it. 237. 257. 244. Alright, we'll move over to the 8 millimeter, the 516th ammo. Two ten. Two oh nine. Two ten. Two ten again. Two ten again. Seems very consistent with the 8 millimeter ammo. Two oh seven. That one didn't read. Two thirteen. And two twelve. All right, so let's review them. The high was two fifty seven with a quarter inch. I don't know what's going on with my chrono. 243 is the high. 257 is the high. The low is 237. Average speed of 248 with an extreme spread of 20. The high for the 8 mil is 213. A low of 207. An average of 210. And an extreme spread of only 6. Okay, next one. 550% elongation, same paper, 2012, same latex, GZK orange, 0.45. This one, the active length for me, equals out to 130 millimeters from pouch tie to clamp. Again, we'll be starting with the quarter inch ammo. That last one was kind of surprising, I must say. All right, here we go. 254. 252. 253. 56, 255, 255, 252, 257, 254, and 252. All right. Oh, I can't believe I just deleted the string.
All right, that was all 252 to 256. All right, we'll go to the 8 mil. Good thing I got that recorded where I can look at it myself and figure the math out. 207. 210. 210. 210 again. 215. 211. 11, 212, 210, 215, and the last shot, we have 211 again, okay, our high was 215, our low was 207, and this is the 8 mil, and 211, our average, extreme spread of 8, all right, this next one is the GZK Orange 0.45, 575% elongation. Again, same 2012 taper. This one, the active length equals out to 112 millimeters. We'll start with the quarter inch again. I must say I'm really shocked that there hasn't been as big of a difference that there has been. It's really been pretty minuscule so far from the 500% elongation to the 550. 255. 259. 259 252 and 249 all right we're gonna String change this time instead of delete it. Okay, moving on to the 5 16 the 8 millimeter ammo. 215. 217. 218. 218, I'm gonna read. 217. 217. 213. 18, 217, 222, and 210, or 219. All right, let's review this. The high was 222 for the 8 mil, the low 213, the average of 217, and an extreme spread of 9. The quarter inch with the 575 elongation, the high of 259, the low 249, average speed of 254, and an extreme spread of 10. Okay, and for our last test, again, GZK Orange 0.45, 2012 taper. This one equals out to 120 millimeters of active length, which gives me 600% elongation factor. Again, we shall start with a quarter mil, or a quarter inch, the 6.3 millimeter. 272. 275. 276. 273, I think, yep. 273, then 277. 288. 289. 295. 286. All right, string change here. Let's go to the 8 millimeter, the 516 ammo. 236 
So the high is 247, the low 231, average of 239, and an extreme spread of 16. For the quarter inch, we have a high of 295, oh, high of 295, a low of 272, an average of 280, and an extreme spread of 23. Okay, well, there we have it. So, looking at my notes here, which I will pop up on the screen so you guys can take a screenshot or write down any info. My draw length is 28 inches, 28 and a quarter, just so everyone's aware. I'm really shocked with these numbers, actually. So, from 500%, our high with quarter inch was 247 feet per second. At 550 percent elongation, we were only at 257, an average of 254. Our average at 500 percent was 240. So it did come up 14 feet per second. However, that's pretty insignificant, I feel. Now, when we got to the 575 with the quarter inch, we jumped up to 259. Our low was 249, but our average speed was still, still 254, the exact same as it was at 550% elongation. So, when we took it up to the 600%, 295 was our high with an average of 280. So the 600% significantly increased it with the quarter inch. When we go down to the 516th ammo, our high at 500 was 222 feet per second. Our 525, 213, 550, 215, 575, 222. All those averages ranged from 210 to 217. Again, not that much difference. When we hit the 600% elongation factor, though, 247 was our high, with an average of 239. So that is a significant increase. Now, is it that taper? Is it that thickness of latex? These are things we're going to dive into in the upcoming episodes on this series of figuring out the best elongation and our best hunting taper. What's the most effective? For five feet per second faster, would you be better off with 25% elongation? Or would you be better off with the more shots? Kind of a personal call, but let's see the science behind it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Here are the numbers, you guys. I hope you can read my writing. Up at the top, you see that it's the GZK Orange 0.45 at the 2012 taper. The first section is quarter inch ammo. You see the high, the low, the average, and then the extreme spread. All of these are in feet per second. Then down below, 5 sixteenths ammo. One thing to note is that at the 500% elongation, since it's more stretchy, there is a little bit more room for air as you're more likely to overstretch it. Shoot straight, shooters.